Hey, how the devil are you? <laughs> so, I recently found out that you can turn these echo speakers into a motion sensor. What the deuce? Now, I discovered this all by myself with some extensive research and also watching a video by Paul Hibbert. <laughs> So he was surprised to find out as well that these have a motion sensor. It's not sort of well documented anyway, and it's not pushed forward, probably because it's in beta testing mode at the moment. So what I wanna to do today is just set this up, show you how to set it up, uh, the motion sensor, and see how good it is. So this is how you set up the motion sensor. Makes me laugh, look, baby shark. <laughs> So you go to Echo Devices here, or you can, if it's in your shortcuts, or down the bottom here, you can just go to Devices if you haven't been in there. Okay, and then you click on Echo and Alexa here. And then you find the Echo you want. Now this will only work with the Echo 4th gens upwards. And it will, I think it works with some of the Echo shows as well, but that's not, that's a different type of motion sensor where it works with the camera rather than, uh, sort of sound detection. So then you tap on the echo you want to do. And then you go to settings here at the top, tap on that. And then you scroll down then, and you come to ultrasound motion detection. So tap on that. And here you can see ultrasound uh, motion detection. And uh, you've got the sensitivity here and the range, so I've got it set on both on high at the moment. Uh, and then you scroll down then, and now to get this to work, you've got to make sure that this, this toggle is on. Sorry, wait a minute. This toggle is on here. If it's not on, you can... Here we are, I'll disable it for now. If it's not on, you just toggle it on. So if you scroll down then, you see at the bottom, go to routine. So I'm gonna to go to routines now and set up a routine. So it says create routine. So I'll click on the plus, just there, and I'll click or tap. And you wanna enter routine name. Sorry, it's a bit slow in catching up, but this is. So I'm gonna name it, uh, Turn on kitchen light. And then you tap next at the top here. And you, then you tap on when this happens. When this happens. Then go to Smart Home here, tap on that. And then you wanna tap on the, the Echo speaker that you want, which is the, this Echo 4th here, because this Echo Plus won't work. Boop. And once you tap on that, you're gonna tap on Occupancy. Okay, so you can see it says, it says here, this feature is currently available within a public beta environment. So it's beta testing at the moment. So you can see here, it says people are detected, people are not detected. So we're gonna leave it uh, with people are detected highlighted. Then you click next at the top here. And then what you can do then, when it finally catches up, there we are, okay, is you can change the time. So you can have the times that you want to have. There we are. You can have the times that you want it between. So uh, it gets dark around, say, 4.30, 16.30. So let's set it for... Nope, that's not right. God damn. 
Okay. Get the time right in a second. Okay, so I set it to come on, so it'll it'll enable at sixteen thirty, four thirty p.m. And I'll probably need it then until maybe seven thirty eight a.m. in the morning. Oops, freaking out. There we are. So we do eight a.m. and okay. And then you click next at the top here. And it's saying that this routine can start doing in the night and you just click, so it's just tap okay. And once that's done, you need to, need to add an action. So on the bottom here, you can see add action, boop. And then it'll come up then, you want smart home when it comes up eventually screen mirror is run, running very slow okay so you see smart home here and then tap on that Rah! and then you want lights tap on that and then I want kitchen light so tap on that okay there we are it's highlighted now here and then you want to tap on next at the top and then you see where you want to set brightness or power. So we want power. And we, you can either have it to power off or power on. So we're going to have it power on. So we're going to leave it on on. And then we're going to hit next here. I'm just going to tap on save now. Okay, there you can see the routine is um, done. So you can leave it like that if you want. You can just go, that'll sort me out now, that's cool. I'll just have a turn on the kitchen light and I can turn it on, turn it off by using my voice or the switch or whatever. But you can set a routine to turn off the light if there's nothing, no one detected. So let's go through it again. So you tap on the plus here and you want to enter routine name and I'm going to put turn off. And then I'm gonna tap next. Okay, then you wanna go on when this happens. And then you're gonna tap Smart Home. And you're gonna choose which speaker you want. So I'm gonna choose the Echo Fourth here. And then what we want is, we don't want the temperature. Uh, you can have it set the temperature if you wanted to, but we're doing occupancy. So I'm gonna tap on occupancy. Now, as you can see here, so we don't want people are detected. We wanna have it when people are not detected. So someone, when people are not detected, it'll turn it off. So I'm gonna highlight people are not detected. And I'm gonna hit next up here. Okay, you can add a time you wanted to do it. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the time, so it's only to turn it off, it doesn't really matter. Then what I wanna do is add action. So I'm gonna add an action now by tapping on the plus sign. Then I wanna tap Smart Home here. And lights. And then we're gonna um, tap on kitchen light and tap on next and then we're going to uh, go back onto power again so highlight that and this time we're gonna um, highlight off so when no one is detected it'll switch it off Uh, then tap next. Okay, and then just hit save.
Okay, so you can see that uh, the two routines are now done. Turn on kitchen light, turn off kitchen light. So let's see if they work. So obviously I set uh, up the echo speaker earlier. Now I've had to wait uh, to the night time uh, to see if it works because I've set it up between I think 4.30 p.m. and uh, 8 a.m. So uh, I've just finished my late shift now and it's about getting on for 10.30 at night, 10.30 p.m. So let's see when I go through the door, will it work? Okay, let's see if it comes on. Yes! We've established it works, but there are some issues. Oh yes! Now the problem is the routines will run every 30 minutes. So the first problem is this. So when I came through the door, the light comes on. Beautiful! Now. The next routine won't kick in until 30 minutes later. So I timed it and it is around about 30 minutes before the next routine kicks in and recognizes there's no one in the room and it turned the light off. So it did work. Now another problem is, so you walk into the room, the light comes on, bingo. Uh, and you then decide to turn it off manually. Mementna, turn off the light. You walk into the next room and then you go, Bruh, I've got to get a drink of water. And you walk back in and the light doesn't come on. You're like, what's going on? It's because you've got to wait 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't know what this 30 minute thing is. So you've got to wait 30 minutes for that routine to kick back in again. Uh, now, that can't be a good thing if you're in the kitchen. Have you, you know, when you see these sensor lights sometimes that you, you walk in, the light comes on, fantastic. And then you're just doing something in a kitchen or living room, and then it goes out and you're in pitch darkness and you're, then you're waving your hands around, trying to get the light back on. So that can be a good thing if you're spending, you know, a longer time in the kitchen, uh, but it can be a problem if you're leaving the room and coming back in. Now, like I said, it's only in beta testing, or if you're in the US, better, okay? Um, Apologies, terrible American accent. Better, better, it's better. Anyway, so uh, it is only in beta testing. So if they can kind of get a worker on or sort out these glitches, it's a really good thing to have in these, these uh, Echo speakers. Uh, but apart from that, it's pretty good. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Have you tried the, uh, you know, the motion sensor? in the echo speakers don't forget uh, if you like the video give it a like it tells the algorithm go on my son give this video a bit more you know and uh, don't forget to subscribe you know the score don't you you don't have to if you don't want to but i would much appreciate it okay anyway i'll catch you in the next video